A question I'm often asked is, what is the worst movie I've ever seen? I've seen a lot of movies, a lot of them real dog shitty. From about 2014 to early 2017, I watched every single horror movie that Netflix put on its catalog. Every single one, no exaggeration. So I've seen some truly abominable shit. I couldn't even tell you the name of half of these. I just have fragments of these movies in my brain, burned in my psyche, like some kind of fever dream. I'm basically the library of Alexandria for awful horror movies if they ever went to Netflix. Like, I remember some bafflingly awful shit. There was this one movie that I'll never remember the name of. It was about some kids who took control of one of their parents' houses or something, and they stole their pool, and then one of their dads gets shot, and they're like, damn, I guess the pool's no good anymore. I guess we'll give the pool back, I think. Something like that. Maybe that made sense to someone out there. If you know what movie I'm talking about, feel free to let me know. But the point is, I've seen some awful garbage. So the other night on stream, I was asked again, what is my least favorite movie I've ever seen? And I've always had an answer. Two movies. I say that they're tied for my least favorite movie. It's Super Fast and Let's Be Evil. And that night on stream, I decided to pull up the trailer for Let's Be Evil. And it reminded me of just how truly terrible that movie was. So now I have a conclusive answer. My least favorite movie ever is Let's Be Evil. And I want to play you the stream clip real quick, and then after that, I want to go over why it's the worst movie I've ever seen, because I recently tried to rewatch it. Least favorite movie of all time? It's probably still Super Fast. Super Fast or Let's Be Evil? No one's ever heard of this movie except for me. <clears throat> this movie was one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had watching something. And the worst part about Let's Be Evil is I fell asleep twice, and Tiana rewound it so that way I didn't miss anything. So it was just like, a, like the movie went on so much longer than the fucking runtime. The movie's about like these three babysitters that go to an underground bunker to babysit some very smart children. But the children aren't that smart. All they do is sit there and touch holograms. And then the babysitters go to sleep. And then eventually the children are evil so they start hacking the holograms. And the babysitters get upset about that. And then the kids get upset at the babysitters. So then like... They somehow start killing the babysitters through hacking. And then it's revealed at the end that the, the children chose the babysitters and they run the bunker. Like, it's it's so fucking dumb. Yeah, I take it back. I always say super fast or this movie. This movie is so much worse than super fast. Oh, it's so bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. When we watched this movie, like I said, I fell asleep and Tiana would rewind it so I didn't miss it. I honestly thought that night went on for days. Like, it felt like in Bleach when that dude poisons the guy to slow down time significantly. That's what this movie did to me. I didn't understand a single second of what I just saw. Yeah, because this movie... Like, they wrote this movie with nothing in it. They had an idea. Let's get some babysitters and some kids. And that's as far as it went. And it stretched across, like, how long is it? Like an hour and 30 minutes of excruciating agony. You'll watch that movie... An hour and 22 minutes will go by, and you'll have aged two years. It's fucking awful. My god. Which one of you asked me what my least favorite movie is? You've made me mad now. Now I had to remember this movie. I need to rewatch this. So, now I've tried to rewatch it. It didn't go very well. I couldn't finish it. Th this movie, I fell asleep during it again, and this time Tiana wasn't around to wake me up and rewind it. So I dozed off again. This movie is like actual hypnotism for me. I cannot stay awake during this fucking thing. If you're struggling with insomnia, put on Let's Be Evil. It might help you. And if Let's Be Evil doesn't help you fall asleep, try One Piece. That ought to do the trick. I'm 30 episodes in and goddammit, it is boring. But the point is, uh, I fell asleep about 40-ish minutes in. So then I had to fucking rewind it myself when I woke up in order to finish the goddamn movie. And it's awful. It's worse than I remembered it being. But my synopsis was right on the money. Basically, three babysitters go to watch some kids do this in the cafeteria. This, this is all the kids do. Like, half of the time the kids are on screen, they're just doing this with their hands, because there's little holograms. They're all wearing these goofy glasses. Uh, the glasses look like the old 3D glasses you'd get at the movie theater, like when you went to go see Spy Kids 3D, so you just have these stupid, goofy glasses on. They look like the, the wind goggles that you put on dogs. Like, if your dog likes to hang his head out the window, you put the goggles on him so they don't hurt their eyes. That's what it looks like. And somehow this movie cost $9.9 .9 million to make. I can't believe it. 
Uh, then there's also, of course, the AI companion, which I totally forgot about. They have like this little Cortana, and she's built into the augmented reality glasses that they're all forced to wear. Her name's Ariel. She looks like Chaos from the Sonic series, so like this liquid blob of fucking goo. And she's just like, hey, what's going on, pussies? I'm Ariel. I'm a robot. That's about all she really does. And then the whole movie's like, wow, augmented reality's kind of cool. One of the babysitters, his name's Darby, he's spinning a fucking teapot. He's like, whoa. Yeah, because the teapot's not real. It's a, it's a hologram. So he's spinning a teapot, and it's like it's crazy. Uh, and then eventually they're like, oh, so we're here to save America. Like that's the that's what they're working under the assumption of like they're here to watch these kids because these kids are gonna save America. So they're being real patriotic. So it's like, okay, let's go watch the kids do this, you know, whatever. So they go do that. And then eventually the kids are like, hey, not, no, not, no siree, not on my watch. Gonna cut that shit out. So they start killing the babysitters. And then we finally reach the conclusion where it's revealed Cassandra, one of the children, chose the babysitters. So it was all part of their plan the whole time. They just were evil. So, I've looked everywhere online for an explanation for what the fuck this movie was about. No one has any. Not even the most pretentious Redditors have any idea what the fuck went on in this movie. Which is shocking. I've never seen that for any other movie ever. This movie is devoid of any and all meaning, purpose, and plot. There's no narrative. The, the dialogue between the characters is written like the AI in the movie fucking wrote it itself with no understanding of how human beings communicate with each other. It is shocking. This movie is like if Attaway General tried to make a horror film. It's crazy. This is not a so bad it's good movie. This is the most boring movie I've ever watched, and I don't say that lightly. I would rather play through Death Stranding start to finish in one sitting without being allowed to sleep than sit through an hour and 22 minutes of this movie. And Death Stranding is a long fucking game. This is the first Strand type movie. It is a battle just to stay awake watching this fucking thing. It is awful. Now, this isn't a popular movie, of course. I've never heard anyone mention this ever in the history of human language. I don't think anyone's ever recommended this movie out loud or even typed this in like a text message like, hey, let's watch Let's Be Evil. But there still were quite a few people that were commenting on it on YouTube, IMDb, Reddit, and all of them didn't like it for obvious reasons, but there were a few people I saw defending it. So I was just trying to figure out what they saw in the movie that I might have been missing, because I would have liked to get another perspective. Maybe they really fucking solved this Rubik's Cube of a movie and figured out what it was all about, but they didn't. They just said they liked the colors and the sound effects, or uh, the theme song. So if that's the best compliment you can give to the movie, that the colors were cool and the theme song was great, you didn't do a good job with your movie. I'm sure all of you know by now I love watching shitty movies, I love playing shitty games, I love listening to shitty music, because I find all of it to be entertaining. This movie is not entertaining. There is nothing about this movie that crosses the so bad it's good threshold. It is insufferable. It I, I can't express that enough. I've never had a movie that makes me angry to think about. Until now, this movie insults your time left on this planet. An hour and 22 minutes spent watching this would be better spent doing anything else. Hitting your shins with a hammer for an hour and 22 minutes is a more productive and less painful use of your time. At least then, your shins will start to become a bit stronger, kind of like how Muay Thai fighters kick down trees with their shins in order for the bones to be built up a little stronger. Like, that would be better than an hour and 22 minutes watching Let's Be, Let's be Evil. It's so bad. So yeah, that's about it. That's the worst movie I've ever seen. So yeah.